uh, this session is related to how to prepare for the interview of ISC Bangalore. Now, many of you have got call from your departments and interdisciplinary departments. Couple of things I'll tell and then I'll take your questions also. Number one, if you're going to ISC Bangalore friends, then mathematics, which Tyagi sir is doing, is very, very important and you need to do that. So revise the mathematics, basic mathematics, which is going to come there in your interview. So that is one thing you have to do. So mathematics part has to be there. Now, when it comes to data science, those of you who go to data science kind of domains uh, without DA paper, I mean, those who have not written DA paper, we only expect mathematics from you in DA paper. Now, what is to be done in uh, mathematics for DA paper? Again, Jitendra Tyagi sir is uh, teaching you for that and he is going to take the regular snaps also from you. Your PDA, on your PDA, data science videos are also there. On the folder is there, data science folder. You can watch those also. You can watch mathematics. You can go for mathematics classes with Tyagi sir also. And most important is fix the snap with the Tyagi sir. Snap means one subject mock. So mathematics for IIC Bangalore, surely you have to do. Make sure you are going to have one snap with Tyagi sir for mathematics. And how to take snap with Tyagi sir is, you have his Zoom session, you have his contact number, you can fix up snap with Tyagi sir and he can mentor you for mathematics. So that is number one. And data science also comes into that. The second part comes is about uh, interdisciplinary department of uh, Masters of Management. In Masters of Management, friends, there is a group discussion part which is coming and students, those who have got the call, they are attending the GDs for the last couple of days now. I think we have conducted five, six GDs now so far and they are attending the GDs that is to be done. As far as the technical knowledge for Masters of Management is concerned, there is a folder with the name of Nitty Bombay. Nitty may used to be the same kind of questions. So in that folder, there is a lot of information about industrial engineering kind of subjects and management kind of subjects in which industrial engineering, management, quality management, these things come and you can prepare that from that particular folder. So you can prepare these things from that particular folder. And, uh, you know, uh, if you if you are from mechanical background, industrial engineering, you should know. If you're from civil engineering background, project management, etc., you should know and linear programming operation research is a part of mathematics also. If you're from other branches, even then you should have some knowledge about what is project, what is management, what is engineering, what is sorry, industrial engineering, those kind of things you people should be knowing. And small uh, terminologies, you people are to revise, you have to know that. Whenever you get a call from any department of IIC Bangalore, you should visit that department to know what can be uh, you know, asked from you, what questions can be asked from you that department is visiting or that department is very important. Now, there are certain questions like why you want to join this department that is HR related questions. For management kind of things, you have to seek your uh, uh, technical snap with me. So at 10-15 at p.m. I sit every day 10-15 p.m. on my Zoom only and then I give the slot to students. So if you are ready with your uh, Masters of Management, uh, Technical uh, Mock or Snap or HR, you can seek the uh, slot with me. So what is to be prepared? That is a folder is there of industrial engineering and management on your PDA. If you don't get it, you can ask any of the executive of your PDA. They will guide you. And you have to prepare. You have to go to the website and see, okay, what uh, actually is there in that department? Basic terminology you should know. And then you have to give the snap. So data science ke liye snap kis ke saath dena hai? If you're from computer science background, if you have knowledge about the data science, then you can give the Mukesh okay, sir. And if mathematics ke liye, uh, you can go for uh, Jitendra Tyagi sir. For management courses, you can go with me. That is how you can give. Otherwise, if you're from particular branch of engineering, then uh, you can go for the respective mentors. Like if you're from civil engineering background and you've got call from IC Bangalore, then civil engineering snaps you have to give. There are a lot of snaps available also of each branch. You have to do like that. Now, the question comes when uh, you are from particular branch of engin uh, engineering and you got call from some another branch. So now, now uh, let me share with you the screen friends of uh, IC Bangalore just to get an idea how it is to be done. Now, let's assume you are from agriculture background and you got call from, uh, let's say, uh, some department which is a bio in a bio engineering department. So you go to various departments of IIC Bangalore 
the moment you go to various departments of IIC Bangalore, then uh, you know uh, you will go to the department from which you have got a call. Let's say you have got a call from uh, uh, you know department of uh, particular department of bioengineering or uh, biology or genetics department. You have got a call. And how you have to prepare for this particular department? You got a call from this department. How you have to prepare? Then you'll go to this department and then you will read about this department, what is there. So what is the uh, biology and genetics and what is the uh, happening in this particular department, what people are doing in this department, that you will start reading. You will read this particular thing in detail and you will keep on writing in your copy about this. Because they are going to ask you a question as agriculture engineer, why you want to join our department? Not only that, in that you will go to, you know, you will go to the people or faculty and you will see what faculties are doing, what domain they are doing the research. The first question will be what you want to do and why you want to join this particular department. So on the basis of what research they will be doing, on the basis of that, you will be uh, basically comfortable answering that why you want to join that particular department. Uh, I give you another example, friends. Let me, I think with the uh, real case I discuss with you, there are interdisciplinary departments. Yeah, I was telling someone from uh, uh, agriculture engineering background student who got called from Department of Bioengineering, not genetics, but bioengineering. Okay, now this is a bioengineering as agriculture engineer, what I am to do in bioengineering, what should I do in this? I went to this department and then I started seeing that uh, what is the uh, research work is going on in this department. Let me go to research areas. The moment I went to research area, I found these kind of things are happening. This is something which I am finding. Okay, this is the research area. Now, certain things you will start understanding. Okay, then uh, as uh, agriculture engineer, uh, maybe I, I start working on biomaterials. So you, you will start exploring. I mean, what is biomaterial, what they are doing? And you start seeing what professors are doing in particular area. So what biomaterials are all about and what is the... Uh, you know, significance of these biomaterials and how it can eventually help those kind of things you start working. And uh, you also started seeing the research facilities, what are there? 3D bioprinting. I, I got 3D bioprinting. Okay. So 3D bioprinting is uh, something which uh, is related to my domain, 3D bioprinting. When you link it, uh, one more thing, friends, I want to uh, share with you. Suppose I went to, I, I go to this particular thing. Now, maybe I'll share with you another thing. I went to Gemini. Uh, that is a chat, GPT, Gemini. These are the some of the, you know, uh, artificial intelligence tools which help uh, us to understand a couple of things. Now, let, let's say I, I write it. As agriculture engineer, as agricultural engineer, uh, what are research areas for me in bioengineering. Aapne usko type kiya in Gemini or in chat GPT or any uh, internet you started looking for it. Agriculture engineer and bioengineering. Okay, I got little bit idea. This is what is happening. I will be talking about this. Uh, I will be working in particular uh, bio-based materials, maybe biosensors. I'll be robotics and uh, agriculture engineer. I can be working in... Uh, uh, particular domain like bioproducts. So, okay, I'm I'm understanding here. Uh, so there is something which is called bioengineering, bioenergy or bioproducts. So engineering efficient bio micro microbial systems do exist for converting the agriculture waste, which we called waste to wealth concept into biofuels. Okay, so as agriculture engineer, I want to join bioengineering department because sir, I would like to work in bioenergy domain. What is the meaning of that? Sir, as uh, agriculture engineer, I know there's an agriculture waste like crop residue and all. So suppose I start converting this agriculture waste into biofuels like ethanol and biogas, that will be good, uh, basically, uh, you know, contribution. And I've also heard, sir, there is something which is called biorefineries. Now, the moment you say this, you need to prepare on these lines, what do you understand by bioengineering, biorefineries, bioenergy, and then you have to prepare yourself accordingly. So what friends you have to do is whatever department you got called from, you need to go to that department. You need to get some idea from that department 
like bio printing. So uh, I went to bioengineering department and I realized there is something which is called bio printing. Now, I, uh, let me try to understand. Uh, as agriculture uh, engineer, as agriculture engineer, how can I how can I use bioprinting bioprinting for uh, for me? So uh, let's see bioprinting that is something which is mentioned in the uh, you know uh, in the website bioprinting. So what is the meaning of bioprinting? So bioprinting has a lot of potential for the field of agriculture engineering. How? Okay, plant micro propagation. Bioprinting could be used to create scaffold with specific structure and nutrient. You know, the person who is sitting here as agriculture engineer will understand that some meaningful things are coming up here when I am making my search more optimized. When I'm doing the search, which is called optimum search, then more things are coming and uh, I will be in position to justify that. So friends, what you have to do is if you want to click, if you want to convert your call into selection, number one, you need to go to that particular department first. Number two, the moment you go to that department, you need to ask yourself, okay, what is there for me in this particular department? What can I get in this department for me? And then you need to make a linkages of that. There are so many departments. If I can uh, share with you now, in my opinion, there are so many departments in ISC Bangalore where, you know, people have got the call from and uh, like people have got the call from interdisciplinary departments, which uh, many of them are saying, sir, we have no knowledge about this department. But friends, you will get the knowledge if you go like, uh, okay, now many students have got the call from uh, uh, this department of, uh, 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 I think, uh, center, not this. Yeah, uh, Department of Advanced Mechanics. These are very simple departments. Somebody was telling me that he has got interdisciplinary sciences. May let me see what are the departments here, friends. Okay, so you have got call from now. Uh, yeah, this one is bioengineering. We have done that. Uh, data science management studies already knowing to you. Okay, let let me go to management studies. So uh, suppose I say management studies. Me sir, kya karna hai? Meri idea nahi hai management studies. Me me kya karunga? How uh, how I am to prepare and all. So you go to management study and see, the, see what professors are working, in which field they are working. From there, you will get some idea. I mean, a professor who are different professors, they're working in different area. Let's see uh, what this Sakshi Jain, who is the associate professor guy is doing, which area is working. So computational finance, Monte Carlo method of derivative financial, he's totally into finance. And I'm sure if you have not filled in the finance, you will not be interested in him. So you go to some another professor who is into operations or something, then you start you start uh, looking for that, and uh, you get okay. Uh, then uh, I I'll find a professor for me who is related to my domain. So slowly you start doing the research, and you'll find that uh, there are different professors who are working in different area. Let us say uh, I go to this professor, and I start looking for his area what he is doing. Energy and environment policies is working. Global climate change is working. Now, you understand that when you go for an interview, friends, these guys are talking about the global climate change, sustainability. And the interview, when you go to the interview, he's going to ask you, uh, have you heard the name of uh, Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs? Uh, what do you mean by sustainable development? What do you understand by that? Uh, what do you mean by, you know, uh, green energy? Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by sustainability? So, these kind of things, sustainability, sustainable development, goal, technology management. So these are the terminologies you get from here. Now, this guy, he's a mechanical engineer and who has done after that, you know, a PhD in the field of energy or something. So you will get some idea from him. I mean, these people are working in this area. Similarly, you can uh, go to some another uh, uh, faculties and uh, you will find that, okay, they have different uh, area for them. Let's say Chiranjit. Chiranjit, uh, Professor Chiranjit, what area is working? Okay, he's saying he's a master's and he's working in this particular field, empirical finance, he's in the economy. So if you are not from the economy, as I told you, you are not to fill the economy, your knowledge may be less in economy. So you can go for some another professor and try to see which domain they are working and uh, what is uh, your field, uh, is it matching with them or not? Yeah, uh, demand management of scarce resources se baat ho gaya. Now, yahan se interview question is, Friends, do you know what is the meaning of the resources? How many kind of resources are there? So again, you will start discussing about that. And when you dig further, you will find more things related to his domain. 
why you want to join this particular department so that kind of questions will be asked so visiting friends are particular department and visiting particular uh, uh, you know uh, area is very very important from there you will get an idea similarly uh, interdisciplinary if you have cyber physical system you have got a call go to that department and try to see what these people are doing your your own subject knowledge is most important knowledge of mathematics is most important knowledge of data science ke liye mathematics is most important knowledge for management ke liye aapko management ke thode se topics which already folder is provided to you that is important other than that there is no specific preparation except going to the department and seeing what is happening in that particular department and what you can prepare in that department other than you know like uh, 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 for mechanical engineer and other engineering departments it's everything is same no somebody has got call from you know uh, earth science sir i have got a call from earth science now how should i start preparing for other earth science friend go to the website of earth science and start seeing what people are doing here i mean what is going on in this particular field in this particular department how people are preparing certain terminology you should know that's it rest you don't need much information certain terminology should be known to you i mean what these people are doing those terminologies should be known to you and the rest is your own engineering domain whatever you are doing now if i go to uh, people and faculty and research again i'm going to get the same thing uh, from where i'm to prepare the moment you start seeing in which domain they are doing the uh, you know research you are finding that okay they are into mass transport they are into ground pollution they are into pollution so they are into you know earth's interior last year there was a question asked from earth's interior can you tell me like how the earth entire interior is divided into which layers so which metal is there uh, largely in the interior of earth so what is the temperature at the core of earth so what is the main reason of magnetic you know magnetic earth magnetic poles magnetic attraction by the earth so uh, okay uh, can you tell me the scales on which earthquake is measured what do you mean by seismic scale uh, is the uh, what, what scale is this so uh, and uh, you know what kind of waves do we have these uh, seismic waves or what kind of waves so earthquake you know then uh, earth's interior is talking about then he's talking about the imaging then he's talking about the ground pollution anthropogenic impact of, on the environment so the moment you write anthropogenic impact on the environment the moment you do that so anthropogenic impact the moment i type that in uh, uh, internet so i will get anthropogenic uh, then i get a lot of information about that uh, impact on environment uh, you have to see uh, basically uh, each uh, term which is mentioned there and you need to find out what is that term all about so let me uh, tell you now share with you you know uh, I, I found something related to anthropogenic impact on environment when i went to earth science then i realized okay now this is something uh, human activity uh, is known as anthropogenic impact what do you understand by anthropogenic impact so you say okay this is a human impact okay can you tell me like what are the uh, human impact on earth ecosystem how the human being is impacting the earth ecosystem okay sir pollution is there climate change is there habitat is uh, destructed and over exploitation of the resources there there are some uh, you know invasive species impact of on anthropogenic activities this biodiversity what do you understand by biodiversity so do you know what is biodiversity all about okay can you tell me what is the main reason of wildfires have you heard a lot of wildfires are there what is the main reason of that okay you are a mechanical engineer which subject you have prepared fluid mechanics i have prepared okay let me talk about fluid mechanics then so friends this is how you are to prepare for your call now whatever department you are from your own engineering knowledge you should have knowledge of the department where you are going to you should have you have to open the department see what these guys are doing find the catch word and keep writing in your copy those those important terminologies revise it why at the first place as computer engineer you want to join earth science the answer will come only by seeing what professors are doing there and then you start preparing on those terminologies please keep writing in a copy a lot and you write a lot and prepare a lot accordingly you will be in position to do it friends if you want to pass the interview of isc you need to put effort and where you need to put effort that i have suggested you mathematics your own subject 
why you want to join that particular department, visit that department, write a rod, write a couple of answers and go for snaps. That is how it is to be done. Now, any specific question you want to ask me? Uh, sir, sir, I have seen my master's in management. Mein. सर वो सिविल से भी क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं क्या क्योंकि मेरा सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड है तो मैं पूछ रहा हूँ आपसे प्रोजेक्ट से क्या समझते हो मेगा प्रोजेक्ट क्या होता है कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट किसको बोलते हैं पर्ड सीपीएम के बारे में सुना है और नेटवर्क टूल्स टेक्निक्स में आती हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स की टिपिकल प्रॉब्लम क्या है इंडिया के अंदर आप कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट करके कहाँ पे इम्पैक्ट डाल सकते हो कौन कौन से रिसोर्सेस होते हैं पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन सेक्टर में क्या होते हैं कौन से ऐसे लॉज हैं जो कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर को प्रोटेक्शन देते हैं ये सारे क्वेश्चन है सिविल इंजीनियर से ओके सर एंड यू विल फाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन वेन द मोमेंट यू गो टू द साइट यू फाइंड की ओके ये चीज हो रहा है और यही क्वेश्चन वहां पर आपने पढ़ा हुआ है ऑल दीज थिंग स्टडीड इन यूर इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग Sir, uh, I was not able to attend the IIT Ka Kanpur session yesterday. So, sir, वो अगली बार अब कब हो सकता है? I'll get, I'll provide you the information in your WhatsApp group, right? आज okay, कर लेंगे. ठीक है. Any other question, friends? Ah, uh, sir. Sir. Ah, uh, my doubt is regarding smart manufacturing uh, course. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, since it comes under uh, the design and manufacturing department under mechanical. Uh, I received a mail which says that I am required to appear for design aptitude test also along with interview. So the there is this design aptitude test also for this course, sir. Smart manufacturing. Yeah. Nothing like you know. They will give you a diagram. They will if you make the diagram of this, imagine it and make the diagram on your page or something. Basic okay. things. Can you design? Uh, understanding of uh, spatial uh, configurations and yeah, that, yeah. those something kinds like, of okay. something like that. Okay, sir. Nothing specific, right? I don't have to go for anything. Nothing specific. I told you, mathematics is your own branch of engineering, and okay. visit that department. More you visit that department, you see, you will understand everything. Okay. Friends, if you visit that department for three hours with pen and paper, and write ten pages, nobody can stop you from passing the interview. Listen my point carefully. Whatever department you have got the interview call from, sit in front of that department website with pen and paper. and write it 10 pages after understanding what you are saying nobody can stop you from selection then but the point is you never visit that department you never write anything you have no idea when you go there he ask you why you want to join you have no idea because you have never done that particular thing and uh, then he will not take you right yes sir i will work on it sir no doubt yeah Sir, you told to prepare mathematics, na sir. So, is it enough to prepare engineering mathematics up to in B Tech level, or we have to prepare uh, like uh, what we have prepared in intermediate eleventh uh, and twelfth? See, I think Tagi sir is regularly taking classes, and he is the right person, and he has conducted the session also for that. So, I think he is the right person to guide you how to prepare uh, mathematics for IIC interview. Mathematics, obviously, engineering mathematics is more than sufficient. Maybe he will tell you to prepare a little lesser than that. अप्रोच में भी डिफरेंट सर आईसी में मास्टर्स मैनेजमेंट के लिए सर इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस भी पूछ सकते हैं क्या ये भी पढ़ना पड़ेगा अगर आपने वहां पे आ, वैसा लिखा होगा उससे रिलेटेड भरा होगा उसमें कुछ चॉइस दी थी आपने उसमें नो सर उसमें तो ऐसा कुछ चॉइस नहीं होती हां ठीक है तो उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है इवन इफ यू डोंट क्योंकि सर मैनेजमेंट रिलेटेड वो कुछ भी पूछ सकते हैं ना क्योंकि बेसिक मतलब जो मैनेजमेंट का बैकग्राउंड होता है बेसिक चीजें ऑब्वियसली इज मैंने बोला था आप वेबसाइट पे जाओगे तो आपको थोड़ा सा देखना पड़ेगा कि वो होता क्या है फाइनेंशियल टर्म्स क्या टर्मिनोलॉजीज आपको थोड़ी सी देखनी पड़ेंगी उसकी ठीक है सर सर आई जस्ट कॉल अ जस्ट गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम आईआईटी मद्रास फॉर एमएस कोर्स इन मेटलर्जी एंड मेटलिंग और सर उसको रिटेन का और इंटरव्यू का कॉल आया है एक तो सर जो इसके रिटर्न टेस्ट की मैं तैयारी करूंगा उसमें मटेरियल साइंस पे फोकस करना है या सारे सब्जेक्ट्स ही पूछे जाएंगे नहीं देखो मटेरियल साइंस में से ही क्वेश्चन आएगा और सारे सब्जेक्ट्स में से नहीं आता है बिकॉज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मटेरियल साइंस दैट वी हैव टू आस्क यू फॉर मटेरियल साइंस ओनली मैथमेटिक्स भी नहीं होगा सर मैथमेटिक्स तो आ सकता है मैथमेटिक्स तो पढ़ के जाना आप मैथमेटिक्स एप्टीट्यूड वो पूछ सकते हैं राइट वो तो आप पढ़ के जाना लेकिन बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स नहीं आएगा आपको मटेरियल साइंस में से आएगा क्वेश्चन ठीक है सर तो सर मैं मैं मैटेरियल साइंस पे फोकस करूंगा राइट राइट सर इन बायो इंजीनियरिंग कैन दे आस्क फ्रॉम द बायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आल्सो 
बायो इंजीनियरिंग नहीं मैंने आपको बताया ना कहाँ से पूछ सकता है अगर आप बायोलॉजी के नहीं है तो बायोलॉजी से नहीं पूछेगा बाकी टर्मिनोलॉजी पूछेगा आप वही बायो इंजीनियरिंग में जाओ और उसको पढ़ो वट इज बायो मटेरियल वट इज बायो सेंसर वट इज दिस वो पूछेगा ना बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी तो पता होनी चाहिए ना आप यस सर एक्चुअली आई एम फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल बैकग्राउंड सो मटेरियल्स बायो मटेरियल्स या पेंटिंग आल्सो यस देर आर सो मेनी प्रोफेसर्स फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इन बायो इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट यस सर एंड एनी ड्रेस कोड इज कंपलसरी इट्स नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट टू बी इनफॉर्मल दैट्स द बेस्ट पार्ट यस सर ओके थैंक यू एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स सर 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 मास्टर ऑफ मैनेजमेंट के लिए सर मेरा वन ईयर एक्सपीरियंस भी है सिविल इंजीनियरिंग में तो जॉब एक्सपीरियंस में कितना डीप तक जा सकते हो जाएगा तो अच्छा है तुम्हारे लिए इट इज गुड फॉर यू यू कैन गो इन डीप आल्सो बट डिपेंड्स अपॉन हाउ यू आर आंसरिंग इफ यू आर नॉट आंसरिंग वेल यू विल नॉट गो इन डीप ओके और सर प्रोजेक्ट में आई एम नॉट कंफर्टेबल नहीं हो सर मैं बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट में तो वो अच्छे से करूं या फिर उसको रहने दो अभी ऑबवियसली माय आंसर विल बी अच्छे से करो ओके बिकॉज़ प्रोजेक्ट इफ यू आस्क यू देन यू शुड आंसर प्रॉपर्ली If you can do, you should do. अच्छे से. Okay, sir. Right. Anything else, friends? Hello, sir. Harsh Shurma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sir, I got the uh, call from IIC about uh, mechanical engineering as well as mobility department. So I attended their session, which was arranged by mechanical engineering department. so uh, they told uh, they'll conduct a common interview for uh, both mechanical as well as mobility. so uh, they want to uh, so i wanted to know that uh, which department should we focus on because uh, both because the, the same mechanical engineering aapka si background hai similar question was asked to them so uh, they answered that we don't uh, answer anything specific but uh, uh, of the level of your uh, gate exam and uh, some uh, 12th and 11th mathematics friends they will only take the best people and the best are those who work hard and go mechanical engineering you know you prepare that and the, then you go to other mobility and go to the department and jot down the things little bit they will ask you will answer your friend will not answer they will take you and not your friend that's it so obviously they don't expect much but they expect that you should come out of interest you should have done some okay. basic analysis as a professor i would like that you should know about my department you should have seen my website you should have seen mm -hmm. what we are doing That's it. We don't expect a detail from you, right? Okay. Sir. No specific preparation except your own branch. Plus about the department which you go. You and I, I told okay, you how it is to be done. Prepare. Please start doing it. Open Gemini on one side. Open department on another side. Keep copy with you. Okay. What is the meaning of this? Okay. What is the meaning of this? Okay. What is the meaning of this? One two days. मेहनत करो अच्छे तरीके से हो जाएगा. Not a far cry. ओके आसान आसान है है भाई बहुत आसान है, आप इसको अच्छे तरीके से कर लो इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट पहले दिमाग से निकालो इट इज डिफिकल्ट और दूसरी चीज एफर्ट करना स्टार्ट करो मेहनत करना स्टार्ट करो स्टार्ट पुटिंग एफर्ट टेक कॉपी पेन सी एज अ टीचर आई कैन ओनली टेच टेल यू वट इज द बेस्ट वे टू प्रिपेयर एंड बिलीव मी दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू इज द बेस्ट वे नाउ प्लीज स्टार्ट पुटिंग एफर्ट दैट ओनली यू कैन डू आई कैन नॉट डू फॉर यू and that hard work which you will do that will only make you uh, you know get selected so that will get reflected there so start doing it right friends for any other question any other problem any other query if you guys have you can meet me so 10 15 pm i have a session where i give slot for next day for the snap or mock if you are well prepared come to me and i will take your snap Similarly, every mentor is going to take snap with you, but you prepare well and then take a snap. GDs तो चल रहा है आपका group discussion बच्चे कर रहे हैं कहीं नहीं कर रहे हैं. GDs करते रहो master of management के लिए और मेरे साथ HR technical भी लगाओ. You are electrical engineer, you are agriculture engineer, whatever you are, you are going for master of management. Come for walk with me 10-15 p.m. And similarly, you know for uh, other things also. So start doing it. Any other question you have or I uh, sign it out now, friends. ये मैंने वीडियो रिकॉर्ड किया है इसको अभी अपलोड कर दूंगा तो अगर आपका छूट गया हो तो आप उसे सुन लेना ध्यान से अभी काम करना स्टार्ट करो एंड स्टार्ट पुटिंग एफर्ट यस सर आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन सर हां मैं सर मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट से 
कॉल आया सर आई का सर तो उसमें मोस्ट प्रायोरिटी सब्जेक्ट सर क्या प्रिफर करके सर वो जो तुम्हें जो तुम्हें अच्छा लगता है सब्जेक्ट उसकी तैयारी करो सर मींस एक से तो ज्यादा ही करना है ना ऑब्वियसली अगर बेसिक कोर है तुम्हारा स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल थर्मोडायनामिक्स फ्लूइड मैकेनिक्स हीट ट्रांसफर ये तो आने चाहिए ना तुम्हें और मैथमेटिक्स आना चाहिए तुम्हें यस सर आना चाहिए राइट सो प्रिपेयर इट वेल ओके सर